Professor Doug Colbert is another voice we've heard from a lot who's been in the courtroom through all of this. What's your take on the null processing, uh, not null processing of uh, Garrett Miller's case and dropping the charges in the remaining cases? Well, I think what the state's attorney has done is something that very few local prosecutors will ever do in this country, which is to take on a very powerful police union and to bring criminal charges where she believes that the evidence supports the charge. And I don't think anyone should have any question that there was evidence here that required the bringing of criminal charges. The fact that they did not meet the judge's burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt is a very separate burden than whether or not these charges would have been prosecuted or simply dismissed like 98 or 99 percent of people killed in police custody. There are never charges for it. So now we at least can look at what happened to Freddie Gray. We can look at what needs to be done to reform police practices and we can hopefully make sure that no one else suffers the fate that Freddie Gray did. Professor Colbert, you were in court pretty much every day through all of this. Do you believe that justice was served here? And do you believe that the officers, those who went to trial, uh, got fair trials? Oh, I think these officers got very fair trials and they had very good representation. I only wish that every poor person and working person in our city uh, would be able to get the same type of effective representation and fair trial because when you have good lawyering, then of course you can raise many arguments. You can afford to bring in witnesses who are very expensive, expert doctors who are going to counter the testimony of the medical examiner of our city. Um, when you're representing poor people, there are very limited resources. Not the lawyer's fault. It's the fact that public defenders have far too many cases. So uh, the state's attorney is holding a press conference at Gilmore Homes in West Baltimore. I mean, that's a significant location, April 12th, 2015. That's where Freddie Gray was taken into custody in the Gilmore Homes. Uh, what do you think she has to say or should say at this press conference? And, and why do you think it's important to hold it there in West Baltimore? Well, first of all, this gag order is something which really prevented Miss Mosby and her assistants from speaking at various times while police officers are filing lawsuits against her civilly, while a law professor is filing ethical charges against her, where there are different things happening during the case that I'm sure Ms. Mosley would have liked to have responded. So this is her opportunity to speak, to explain, and no doubt to say that she did the right thing by bringing these charges. The fact that she's holding it in the community once again is saying that people like Freddie Gray deserve the full protection of the law. And it's not something that we can simply say um, that the Freddie Grays of our country have been receiving. It's quite the contrary. Thank you very much, law professor Doug Colbert. We appreciate your insights throughout this entire trial. Let's send it back to Television Hill and Jessica and Mary.